right, well, welcome. We are, uh, we're just bringing the stream up live in Tustin, California. Um, Okay, yeah, I was just bringing the stream up live. We're here in Tustin, California. What, what was his name again? Robert? Robert Villa. Robert Villa on Monday. What time? 11.30 in the afternoon. Don't you think it's time something gets done? So here we are, it's uh, Tuesday, this is exactly eight days since Robert Villa was killed by the police here, hey, how's it going? I've lived I'm here, here in Tustin since I moved out here. And what surprised me? The cops here have always been cool to me. And I mean, like, I've never like seen. Yeah. Well, I mean, I've never seen them do anything that I question. Now, yeah. if I, I go somewhere else, I see Southern California cops being jerks all the time. But the Tustin cops have always been. Like, I mean, even. Okay, this tells you my experience just before this. Even the guys who are like selling flowers, they come up with their nice as could be to them. And then this happened, and I'm like, oh man, well, how did this? They're, they're how's that the same cops that are saying, buddy, you can't sell flowers here, but we're going to shoot you in the face anyway? Because they're, uh, because they're, they're trained to do that. Yeah. Well, yeah. That it's, it's the reality of it. There's no more Andy Griffiths. They're all Barney Fives. They're looking yeah. for somebody to kill. They're not looking to solve a problem. They're looking for somebody to shoot. When the federal government donates, oh yeah, tanks high power and, and yeah, grenade launchers. Local, to our local police department. Yeah. 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 Now I heard Irvine just got a bear. What? Irvine, Someone? that big old uh, tank that they yeah, used in uh, Anaheim. Yeah. Irvine just got one, and they're like, for what? They're well, they're gonna they're gonna yeah. lend it yeah. out whenever it's needed. Yeah. Yeah, they have the money, they got the bear. I think that's what they call it. Uh, I thought they thought you had an actual bear, and I was like, God damn, we're going to get bald now. <laughs> no, I, I heard that. I might be wrong. Oh, yeah. 
We're live streaming if that's all right. If you have people that are military walking around and they're supposed to just be the cop who's watching the football game, you become numb to it. And then you go, oh, well, why does he have a grenade launcher? Well, he's not, oh, he's a cop, so okay. And you get numb to it over time. Right. And that's exactly what has happened, and it showed with the Kelly Thomas case. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And the jury. Yeah. Yeah, it showed right there the fruit of our society yeah. and how they. What if you want to, if you want to see how disgusting people can be, yeah. go to the uh, the Tustin Police Department Facebook page, mm -hmm. because I looked everywhere. I was Twitter, Facebook, everything after this happened because I couldn't find anything about it. I knew somebody got shot, but I didn't know what the deal was. Mm -hmm. it wasn't on the news. The Facebook page when they announced on there, they made a post about an officer about a shooting. Oh, stop talking. Let me walk away. <laughs> mm -hmm. And the the actual police statement. Very it really was. But the people chiming in that are testing citizens, disgusting, mm -hmm. talking about, well, another gangbanger off the street, right. another, you know, mm -hmm. justifying it for the police. And there's like 30 of them. Mm -hmm. And the, like, well, me and two other people that said, wait, we don't know the whole story yet. Mm -hmm. Maybe this was a negligent cop or whatever, just boom, gets slammed. Mm -hmm. And people, you know, shut up, you don't support your police, blah, 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 blah. I support that happens on the register. Yeah, all of I support good okay. cops. <laughs> I think good cops are somewhat needed. It's just they're few and far between. <laughs> I don't think there is any anymore. I yeah, I, I really don't. If you're serving a corrupt government, if you're following, if you're if you're enforcing those laws upon upon citizens, everyday citizens, and you know that it's fucked up, yeah. and, you, and you see it every day how yeah. fucked up everything yeah. is, and you still continue to serve that government, yeah. I have no. I, yeah, I agree. I'm tired of the silence, that's for sure. Right. Yeah. I'd like well, to see I, I, more. I, for me personally, the, I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not there as far as the good cop thing goes. There, there's some of them. There's some of them. There are, I mean, not very many. And that's why I was so, I mean, shocked when this happened. I'm going to try to find, because uh, I think, today's Tuesday, right? Uh, yeah, it is. Yeah, I'm pretty hey, sure. Hey, it's good to see you. Good. It's I'm going to listen because I think bro. it is tonight that they're swearing. I'm sorry, you know. Yeah. It's good to see you, bro. Where are you guys all from? I'm uh, I'm from Southern California myself. I'm a transient. I move all around. Yep, the internet, that's definitely the, way, the place you can say I'm from. <laughs> but yeah, I'm a native from Southern California. Because I had a post about the chief being sworn in, and I could have sworn it tonight. Today, the 18th? Today, oh, I got yeah. oh, okay, there you go. Right yeah. on, right on. Sure, I'm, I'm getting low, for <laughs> sure. Uh, I do, you too. Yeah, yeah, it's true. I've got a horrible connection. So, uh, Robert Vila's father was just by a moment ago. It was uh, good to see him under the circumstances, the man soon incredibly well you know I mean uh, from the very concept of the media circus that we even create within in our own you know because it's you're representing you know you want to draw people's attention you want to know let people know that it's certainly a lot bigger than just yourself and all you really are is a camera screen available uh, of making the truth available and uh, the truth is, they shot and killed a man here eight days ago. And his name was Robert Villa. And they were looking for some help, and they did not bring help. Once again, pre-warned on a situation and uh, having the available um, facilities like stun guns and uh, less than lethal options were available. They always are. Yet they chose, you know, lethal as the requirement for this day. And oftentimes all it takes is uh, 
you know, if, if it's in a neighborhood that's, you know, not quite fortunate to be Beverly Hills, you know, nobody will ever really find out about it. You don't see any major media here tonight, ladies and gentlemen, do you? I don't see, I don't see Fox. You see Fox anywhere around here? Anybody seen CBS? Oh, shoot. They were out there at uh, Bakersfield, weren't they? That was a great newscast. Did you notice all the masks in the newscast? About, you know, a quarter of the crowd were, were masks, so they actually had to spend more time cutting the masks out of the newscast. I'm not sure. I'll try to get a few people together. Yeah, I'll try. Right on, Texas. Thanks for being here this evening. This is why we're here. Texas, this happens a lot out there. I'm aware of it. I've been fortunate enough to read WikiLeaks, or not Wiki, WikiLeaks on many occasions, but I'm, in this particular occasion, I mean Wikipedia. They do an ongoing tally of all police involved shootings and killings on an annual basis. And uh, I've seen a number of them that have transpired in your region in Texas that uh, the rest of the world really needs to know about. This is far more common than uh, the regular media would have you to believe. I hear a lot of people say a lot of things about a lot of armies, but the folks that are representing here for Kelly tonight are definitely a part of his army. Yes. My name is Blaine. I work at the Orange County Register. Right on. I took a photo of you earlier. I was wondering if, if I could get your name for the paper. Sure, sure. I have a card. Stephen Sweetleaf. Right, cool. So that would be Stephen, S-T-E-V-E-N. Alright, cool. Yeah, it's a Sweetleaf. <laughs> it's a, if I, oh, yeah. Yeah, the get up has different <laughs> things in there. Alright. And uh, where are you from? Or where you I, live, I guess? I'm, I, uh, I'm a transient in California. <laughs> But uh, I was born in California. All right. Where were you born? Pasadena. Oh, wow. Nice. I'm from Alhambra. I went to school in Pasadena. Right on. A long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a, as well as a live streamer, you know, social media. As, you know, the new citizen, world of citizen journalism. So how did you hear about this? Uh, I, been involved with these cases. We started getting regularly involved over two years ago during Operation Fullerton uh, after Kelly Thomas was beaten to death. Since then, we've been uh, actively involved as a group, and you know, uh, it's, it's an amazing thing. It, uh, the way the world is now, it gives you the ability to get connected. Um, I actually met Robert Villa's parents um, Saturday in Bakersfield, 
uh, standing on the sidewalk. Yeah, they were out there standing up for uh, David Silva. He was beaten to death uh, nine months ago in um, Bakersfield by sheriffs. Um, anyhow, so that's uh, how I met them, though I heard about the case probably within, you know, 12 hours on the internet. Are there his, his parents over there? Yeah, I believe so. Um, I would have to say, I don't see his father right now. He walked by earlier and he came out and he was a couple people. I almost when I took my, my hood off, you know, I wanted to let him know who I was. Uh, but, uh, you know, it's, it's all branding, right? You know, you're. <laughs> I'm with the everybody's press, you know, the question mark people. But, uh,. Uh, right on, yeah. I imagine they'll be out soon enough. I can see that they're meeting with some legal advisors right now as well. I, I'm sure you're perfectly uh, welcome to go up there. You know, they've got the. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to put this in front of your camera. What's that? It's my camera watching your camera, <laughs> but it's lagging. That's weird, man. That's like some kind of crazy stuff from... That messes with the space and time continuum and shit, and the w Earth as we know it can come slamming to a halt from that kind of shit, you know? That's that's matter actually possessing the same location simultaneously. Yeah. You know, that's not Whoa, supposed to be that's possible. Not supposed to We're gonna call it like uh, you think I make this shit up? <laughs> Sometimes, you know, you can catch up with Wait, the, look, the we blabber. Look how, look how lagged it is, though. See, I'm just now getting it on the... I checked the, the 4G. It looked pretty good on my uh, hotspot. <laughs> my hotspot felt pretty good. Oh, they're really good. Yeah, and Mama Jean. I wonder if that means Sherry's with the... So, once again, um, as these things transpire, You've got this incredible community that, that looks out for one another, and they've shown up here tonight, and uh, they're here. We've got the Brown Berets. We've got Justice Warriors. We've got Kelly's Army. We've got everybody from many different places. Um, you know, I don't know if they're going this way or this way. Y'all sing in the guy. Because if you go down this way, it's on... You're going to well, so far I haven't seen any. Um, we've talked to some some locals uh, earlier in the stream, and he was sharing that there's some anger involved. Um, we're just getting in. We're, I expect to be we'll be hearing some things in a little bit. We're gonna go over and hang out. Just wanted to allow them a little bit of uh, time to talk. It looks like there's some legal advice visiting the family uh, right now, and I don't want to get in the way of uh, that meeting. So. Hey, Char. How are you? Good. Yeah, yeah, it's the camera. I mean, it's streaming. So what's the vibe? They're saying, what would the vibe be here? Fear or anger? I haven't talked to a whole lot of folks yet, uh, except for that one fella. And he seemed angry. So the, the guy that we interviewed earlier, um, people were asking. I would think... Uh, Anger. Or I'd say imagine both. Yeah. yeah, I would imagine both. Sadness or grief, I should say. What's the motivation? Yeah. Okay, our plan is to yes, and from what I understand, the meeting is going to transpire somewhere in the area of 7 p.m. Pacific Standard, which is roughly two hours from now, um, and uh, I'm basically on a uh, free fall in the rabbit hole right now. I'm with this until it gets to where it needs to be.
So my plans will be to be in the council meeting as well. I want to, uh, it's, uh, this is going to be my first, sorry, it's going to be my first Tustin council meeting, you know, and they need to learn to expect us just like uh, anybody else. They need to learn to expect and, and respect the cameras that we possess as well, seeing as how we're the last real enforcement of transparency. Something I want people to start thinking about oftentimes now, and that's this, is the fact that the mainstream media is purposely deflecting facts from these stories that exist, such as the consistency of the appearance of the guy Fox mask, um, things of that nature are uh, continually overlooked. Hey, Sonia. Hey. Hi, Jay. Hi. <laughs> she remembered my name. <laughs> Sonia Hernandez, Martin Hernandez's sister. Martin was killed by the Anaheim police. Two years almost. Hey, Cory. There were people here representing as the independent press. It's like maybe young high school uh, kids even. This is an awesome time. Like getting awareness out. And Someone says hi, Corey. Huh? Somebody says hi. Hi, Sam. Justice for Robert. <laughs> That was not, wasn't just Sam, it was someone else. Corey. Not just Sam. Not Sam. Not Sam. What about him? Hey. Hello. Good. My son's here. The good news is, is you always have the opportunity to share about a new story and get more people actively involved. And what you're seeing is a direct representation and result thereof. This morning we were at court for a number of people, and tonight they're here on the streets for Robert, you know.
Yeah, don't, isn't your mask on that thing? Like this? That's the sweater that uh, convinced me to make mine like this. <laughs> Where's the grub at, bub? A lot of people are showing up this evening. This is excellent. So there will be, from what I understand, the council meeting is going to be, what, around 7? Is what I heard. Imagine we'll be marching from here. I do have my <coughs> vehicle. So once again, the reason why we're here this evening, I'll just come over here and let the sign say it again. He was born December 21st, 1990. So yeah, February the other day, 2014. Well said. Hey, how's it going, man? How about you, man? Good, good. Awesome. Always. Glad you guys are here. The more, you know, we continue to get everybody connected. Is there a protest after this? What's that? Is there like a protest slash march after this? Uh, from what I understand, there's a possibility of marching to the um, city council meeting. And that's is it what I, just us or is there more? I don't know. These things accumulate on their own. You know, this is a very new uh, situation. It just this happened on the 10th. Yeah, it happened a week ago on Monday. So it's been eight days mm. since this person went down. So. Uh, but uh, any family members here thereof? Oh yeah, the the families, the, the apartment right up here. It happened here, here in front of their house, yeah. in front of the eyes. I'm gonna go give my condolences, yeah. For sure. Dad, you're here. Right on. It's good to see you, Patty. Good to see you. <laughs> okay. I don't think I'm gonna stream because I don't have backup battery. Okay, that's fine. My well, backup broke. Yeah, yeah, it's it's, a, it's rough, you know. <laughs> it's it's not a forgiving uh, profession at times, is it? Yeah, it's expensive. That's right. Sure. Especially getting your stuff tackled and kicked and everything else when they're cra capturing you, you know. I'm sure it's real costly. I think my stuff here on three days. Oh, okay. Yeah. Capitalism falls. They used to make stuff to last, and they right. can, and they don't. On purpose. It's true. It's true. But I don't know. It's been a great day, like actually meeting the people I went to jail with and seeing their faces for the first time. Yeah, for sure, for sure. It's got. I've, it was. Uh, 
an honor to be standing out there and waiting on every moment of information. Not everyone knew there was going to be court support, and some people who weren't aware of it was really like felt so heartwarmed that there were people there who cared, and it was really beautiful. Right on, right on. I don't know. It meant a lot that people came for us. Right on. That's awesome. For sure, anytime. <laughs> My pleasure. It's it's the least we can do, you know. <laughs> Anybody chatting on there? Um, yeah, there's a little bit of chatting. We've what? got, you know, some folks discussing. Let's see who's on there. The We've got the prison. Oh, your font is too small. I can I can read it. Yeah, it's hard. It's I'll difficult. <laughs> yeah. so when I have my iPad, normally I do read it, but at this stage, this has a better quality camera than the iPad. Yeah. And it's it's a lot more. Uh, uh, let's just say uh, what I'm thinking of. I can lose it. It was uh, donated to me. It's cost effective. Yeah. It doesn't cost as much as the what iPad. What kind of phone is it? It's just a. I think it's an HTC. I don't know what that means. Like that. It's just. Or? Yeah, a droid. A droid running on a uh, on piece of hardware. Exactly. So, hey, now we're here live in Tustin, California. This yep. is, uh, I don't even know um, what is the name of the guy we're here for. Robert We're here Fiat. for Robert Villa. Yeah, he was shot here. So this just happened on oh, my son's birthday, wow. December 21st. Oh no, no, that's my, that's his birthday. That's my son's birthday. Okay. Okay, uh, so this happened in February 10th. Yeah, yeah. And today is the eight, 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 eight days, days ago. ago. Yeah, eight wow. Days ago. Oh, and there's the whole thing. Eight days ago. Okay. Yeah, I think I got it. Yeah, my hopes would have the camera inside streaming the actual meeting. Now, oftentimes I'll be showing up from the, the people's perspective, so I'll be showing up to the meeting late. And, uh... Are they gone? Yeah, they don't want no plastic in their diet. <laughs> they took off, though? Yeah, they'll be back. I promise. They look hungry. <laughs> That's right, prison reform movement. You want to do some streaming for nothing? It's the location where Robert was killed. My cops are over there. Still? The cops are over there. Taking a quick gander, you guys. Just walking away for a moment. I'll be back with the overall crowd in this soon. Maybe I should go grab my skateboard. Alright. We're seeing some signs of life over here. Yeah.
So we have some position on Red Hill Avenue in the cross street of the street that I'm currently at. Let me go ahead and get you some feedback of where we're at. I'm out here, uh, you know, meeting the locals, letting them know uh, to continue to expect us. The police need to continue to expect us, that's for sure. We're not going to be letting them get away with killing people. They're pulling back their motorcycles. They're retracting them from the forward position. And we've got them in multiple locations. Number of reasons we do this. One, need to learn to expect this. Two, it's good to get seen by the public filming the police. It is, of course, you're right. And uh, think of uh, Anonymous, kind of like the uh, neighborhood watch of the world, you know? Break out your cameras and keep a watch on the, the ones who mean to uh, rule us through sadistic and brutal ways. Got a couple over across the street. But we are here for one reason. We're here for Robert Vila. We're sorry that they've lost their son to the killer cops of this area. It's only been eight days. This is far too common. This happened in Santa Clarita no more than a few weeks ago. Another man that had a hockey stick down on the corner of, I think, Soledad and Sierra Highway. And that was a sheriff there, I believe. Here for Robert Villa. Wow, this is beautiful. We're seeing some of the larger. Come on. I like uh, I like them both. Anybody want to take the stream over and give a guy a break? Shit. Oh, there we go. We have the lovely Jordan. Right? Did I say it right? Yeah. Okay, we have an awesome. No, no. I will. Jordanonymous. Yeah, George everybody. Anonymous. <laughs> this is one of our favorite anonymouses of uh, out here. Please listen to the soothing voice and welcoming environment of her as I get my break. Hello, sh people. This is Jordan, aka Jordanonymous. Yay. So we're here in Tustin at uh, Casa Cortez Apartment Homes on Nissan Road, where. Monday night, Robert Vila was shot and murdered by the Tustin police. We do not know the specifics and the name of the police officer or officers have not been released yet. 
But here's the son that his mother made. Here's a small vigil. And I'm writing a message for y'all. Okay, here you see Channel 5 News is here on location also. We're going to watch. Wow. Right now we're getting an eyewitness testimony. This man right here is the lawyer. We're watching someone's account of the story right here at KTLA 5. We've already had a few police on the scene, only two on motorcycles so far. Just ignore those people right there. I want you to show me where you're standing. Which case? By that tree over here? He's describing the situation as he saw it. If anybody is parked right here in this little shopping center right here, you will get towed. Yes, the cops have called tow trucks. They want everyone towed. Fuck the police. Mom, Yeah, and these two cars right here, they need to move too. Anything from this line on the car. The lawyer is saying that the news has reported he had a knife. However, eyewitnesses are stating that he did not have any weapon of any sort and that the image that we saw on the one news channel was botched. He had no knife, no weapon. This is the lawyer that's representing the Vila family. So I don't know if you can hear what is being said, but apparently a family dispute was taking place. The family called the police. It's not being released if the police were called on the son or not. However, what we do know is that the police came and they shot and killed Robert Vila on Monday night. Um, the family, the parents are very distraught by this situation. The mothers, she's very, um, She's very ready for action. When we first met with her on Thursday, she was very upset. However, now it seems to be at um, an anger phase. And she's ready to get justice for her son that was unjustly murdered. He didn't have a knife in his hand. It's all made up by the, by the cops. I'm lying about that. And I'm going to march over there. This could be, you know, in a, in a very the lawyer is joining in on the march to the city council meeting. Yeah, because I don't know if they can hear some of the Well, it was a difficult <laughs> moment, you know. They were walking, they were chasing through some of the steps, but the last sure step the son's made, and, over there from, you know, and there's a crowd of people in the way of the walkway, and anyway, it was all that step away for a moment. Yeah. It's only eight days. Yeah. Crazy. yeah, after only eight days, you know, it's still very raw. 
It's very much a media circus, but you know, in some ways it's kind of crazy. In many ways, it's very crazy. I'm gonna get in. I, I believe, yes, I do believe that, but I believe if they don't get justice here, my Father in Heaven, and it does mention this month. Amen. Amen. So what you just saw was KTLA 5 interviewing the father and also interviewing a family friend who heard the altercation and came out immediately afterwards. Another interview. I don't know if you guys are interested in this, but it seems to be. So what we just heard was this man said it sounded like a round of fireworks going off. They were under the impression that it was fireworks. When they came outside, they saw the police with machine guns. This is allegedly the turf. If you see these parts that are torn up right here, excuse the foot. These parts were missed rounds. This is where Robert Vila was shot and murdered. Um, it went pretty well. Um, I took a non guilty plea. Um, I have a free trial on the 28th and then a trial with jury. Mm -hmm. You'll be allowed to go on the 13th of March. And they could still drop everything. Yeah. I, I, you know, I, them two want to push this. I, I just don't see that happening. I don't see why they would. Because it can easily, with the, with the video fine. footage, exactly, with, go right back on CBS and then. Because faulty charges being in, like being held in jail, so a faulty detainment. Mm -hmm. But that's in a justice system that actually works. So we'll find out. That's the same thing they told Jamie. 
out the name. <laughs> they had a year. File charges on him. And that year's up. I'm gonna sue the fucking shit out of him. Get it. You know? Make me go through that. Get it, guys. Yes. Hunt Sab. The family has requested other family members to go inside. They're going to say a prayer, but it's family only, so we're going to stay outside. Um, what was I saying? Hunt Sab? Yes. Witnesses are coming forward. This is very excellent. Um, typically in this kind of thing, you're fun. Typically in this kind of thing, what we find is that witnesses is that witnesses are afraid to come up there, intimidated by the police because the police use intimidation tactics, fear, et cetera, et cetera. However, in this case, it doesn't seem to be that case. So that's wonderful. Some machine was used. Tell you what, I'm just gonna give you a hug. Yeah, it Prison right. reform right, in BT. Go ahead yes. and go inside right now. Uh, they wanna have a family meeting and then we're gonna talk about all the guys that came out here to support and then we're gonna get together. So, uh, OMG what? My what? name is Damien. Hunt Sab. I'm just part of the big group that's here today. Okay, uh, a lot of people call everybody here the Justice Warriors, but there's a lot of different groups here to represent for Robert today. And what we're here to do is we're going to march to the city council meeting, and okay, we're going to let them know how we feel about what happened here today. Our primary job today, okay, because remember, this is a very fresh situation. We're talking, this just happened last week. So the family's very, very, uh, they're desperately in need of our assistance. Okay, they need us to be their strength today. We're gonna we're gonna escort them to the city council meeting. We're gonna make sure that they get their chance to voice their opinion about what happened to Robert here. So once they're ready, we're looking at about six o'clock. We're gonna start to march. We're gonna head right up here to Red Hill. Let's head down the street. And we're gonna march right up to the city council. It's very close. Once we get there, we're gonna get loud. We're gonna get loud so they can hear us. We're gonna try to get in to speak. If they don't let us speak, then we're gonna be so loud. They gotta lock the doors, close the shades, and and hide. Okay? Very close is a mile. The officer's name okay. has not been released. We need to know the officer's name. It's a public safety issue and needs to be released. We demand that the name of the officer be released. That's one of the things that we need. That's the family's right. They've got an obligation to re to release that name. Okay, but they're not gonna do it for for anybody. We gotta force them to do it. Like, like, like Renee you, said, that's something we need to talk about today. If anybody asks what we're doing there, that's one of the things. One of the first things that they can do is release the name of the officers or officers who murdered Robert. It's one of the first things that we want. Okay. But today we're there to voice our anger, all right, and our our resolve to fight back against this and to stand up. You know what? Uh, I'm not from this neighborhood, and a lot of us aren't from this neighborhood. Okay. My homeboy got killed in Downey in L.A. County. He got shot running away from a cop that was on a mission to kill him. And that cop, when he caught up with him, he fired three rounds into his back. So that's why I'm here, okay? So and his brother got killed in Anaheim. Genevieve's son got killed in Anaheim. So where we're coming from is we're coming from where we're doing battle. We're coming from where, where, where we're fighting the fight. So we're here because you can't do this alone. So if you guys are from this community and you're down for, for, for Robert, and you're down for the family, we're here for you. We're not here to run your game. We're here to stand behind you guys. We're here to give you whatever you need. But the reason that we're here is because the same shit's happening in our neighborhood. Okay? They're killing people everywhere. And they're counting on us just taking taking it, staying quiet, not backing each other up, not leaving our neighborhoods, not leaving our comfort zones. And then as long as we do that, as long as we do what they want us to do, they can pick and choose so they're going to smoke. Okay? But when they killed my friend, I promised him at his grave that I would fight until those things changed. All right, and that's what everybody here is here to do. So we're here with you guys. When the family comes out, we're just gonna hit the street. We're gonna chant, we're gonna march, we're gonna hold signs, we're gonna back each other up. The number one thing, we can be loud, we can be wild, but we're peaceful. Because the message here, the most important message here is that Robert Villa was murdered right here. And that's what we're here to say. We're here to say he was murdered. They gotta hear us say it. As soon as we let them start cracking our skulls, as soon as we start acting, we're not, it's, it's not the time for that. It's time for, Today is to just get the word out there, is just to say this was wrong. And we'll speak as one. When the family's ready, we got their back. So I just want to speak with you guys and let you know what, 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 what the plan is. When they get out, the family, we're all going to hit the streets and we're going to do this together. we got to be loud. we got to be real about this, right? we got to give it everything we got. 
And when we get there, we gotta shake those foundations of that of, of their ivory towers because this is Tuscan, right? And a lot of people don't matter in Tuscan. That's what they think. But is that true? Yeah. Is that true? No. Fuck no. Sure that they know that that's not true, right? They yeah, think right. that. Right. But that's a bunch of bullshit, right? Because yeah, every people. life matters here. Every life matters here, and that's we what they're gonna the find out, that right? They serve. We but are the community kill. that they yeah. serve. Yeah. Okay. Chase them. 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 It's a beautiful thing when people come forward and they witness two crimes. It's a beautiful thing when families come forward and they, they give their testimonies of their experiences with police brutality and unjust police force. You have you have the sun. It's a gang. When we march, <laughs> shiny face. <laughs> this is anonymous shiny face. Yes. You're absolutely right. Robert Vila's life mattered a lot. There was a lot of people who loved him, and he was murdered. But we won't stop until justice is served. Yes, prison so reform. Isn't really like it a beautiful much. thing? They stick together. Even, you know, the outreach beyond their own families. It, it shows a common grounds of humanity. But yeah, you know what? We're going to do justice. We're going to do justice for Robert Villa. Right? Never forget. Okay? We're going to say Robert Villa, never forget. Robert Villa, never forget. Never forget. Then we say film the police. We're going to say whatever we want. Our street, our street. Okay, so the way we We're going over on. chance with the people. Yeah, That's all. Awesome. Whose streets? Blowing my voice out. Our so street. Like, oink, oink, bang, bang. Everybody every knows day, we'll same old thing. Everybody knows. Right? Yeah. 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 The what is your goal, dude? Can we go up there and like demand justice or whatever? Like, think about it. Cops have murdered people since the beginning. Yeah, what's your goal, dude? Just keep it apart. Mine? Yeah. Because, I mean, you're, you're questioning my message, but I don't even know you. What's your goal, dude? To be honest, yeah. no to protest. None of this holding hands saying we want change. No. Well, how would you describe protest. militant protest? Um. No good. Because, Nazi, because, because, you know, I, I don't know. Have you, have you been around? Have you been around? Hello, Samantha. Because I've been around for two years. And we're pretty militant the way we protest. Yeah, I don't know. Have you ever seen anything that we do? Oh, you don't really know us, huh? I protest. Okay, yeah. Because I haven't seen you anymore. Okay. Yeah. So, so just just get with us today, brother. Trust me. We're not here. We're not here to turn over for anybody. We don't roll over for anybody. So give it a shot, okay? Because we're down, dude. All right. Trust me, man. Trust me. I'm, I'm so down with you, and I'll Good. do whatever you guys want. Right on, but I'm just telling you that I hear this you. peaceful protest does not do anything. You know what? I'm gonna tell you what. I'm gonna tell you what, my boy. Check it out. Away. My boy got killed in Downey, 2011. We're here for the We've been peacefully protesting in Downey since 2011. Okay. Ten days before my homie got killed, they killed a homeless man. They shot him in the back. There hasn't been a murder in Downey by a police officer because we're militant, because we're not afraid. Same thing in Anaheim, because we're not afraid. After Manuel Diaz and Joey Acevedo got killed, because we're militant, because we go down there and we let them know who's who. The Anaheim cops are afraid to kill anybody. So you know what? There's a lot of dudes walking around holding their kids right now. So that does get done. The way we do it, that's what gets done. Lives get saved. I'm down with you, dude, because we need to change the system. Brick by brick, we've got to bust it down. I hear you. 
okay? Because the system that protects these people, the system that allows these murderers to get away with it, okay? That's not my friends. That's not, I'm not fighting to protect that, right? So I'm down with you, dog. You know what I mean? We, we are going to take it down. But we're going to do it, you know what, step by step, right? And it's a long campaign, and trust me, trust me, that we feel where you're coming from, okay? So, so when you say what is it going to accomplish, lots of shit, dude. Right? Short term, we're saving lives. Long term, we're changing the system. But it's going to take a long time. It's going to take, you know what, consistency. It's going to take showing up. It's going to take being there every weekend, twice a week, for as long as you got to do it. Right? That's how we do it. And we don't roll over for nobody. Trust me. You know what I mean? So I, I hear you, dog. I hear you. And we are going to get there. So stick, today you know what I mean? Is, we're going to get down. Round one. That's right. It's a, yeah. In the old days, they used to fight 15 rounds. And before that, they'd go till somebody knocked out. Right? So we're going to fight till it's done. We're gonna do it right. We're gonna throw our we, punches, but we're gonna do it right, dude. We agree right? with we're gonna you be, to go a little farther, right. but not today. Yeah, if you break any bottles or do any not criminal today. acts, you're my enemy. I'm letting you know right now. Okay? All right. I respect is that understood? That. I respect that. I'm right, just saying. No, no. Is that understood? I don't want a misunderstanding. You're my enemy if you do something like that. I'm just saying that okay? But I do respect her. No, I'm patting you, coming at him. Very I'm not coming at him, no, because no, we had this problem before. No, right. Okay, we had this problem before. First, what we gotta do is we gotta tell him to face. We don't need violence. We don't, I don't want bottles broken. First, what we gotta do is we gotta let him know. Right? And then that time, right? They don't listen to us. We're having a dialogue. I'm sorry. You need to have this. Your battery's done. Yeah, I need the hotspot to. There you go. I was I'm trying on to it. damage control for a minute. Yeah. We're all in the same team, but we need to have these conversations. He just doesn't want anyone arrested. Bottom line. I don't want anybody arrested. Because, you know, Jennifer's starting her trial, and, and it could have a negative effect on her trial. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, and, and so I, that's what I'm saying. Anybody that's looking to interfere with her, or anybody in my, that I'm representing, I'm fighting. It's like fighting the war against her. <laughs> Whatever those uh, those, those, those meditation words. Um, we just can't. Like they said, this is just but round you, one. You don't come authoritarian at an anarchist. Like, never, never be authoritarian. Never be authoritarian with an Okay, we're here at the Robert Vila. We're going to be marching to the uh, city council meeting in a short while. I'm uh, just finishing up my final preparations. What he never shows gets seen by me. <laughs> We're getting ready to do some marching. It looks like we're going to be heading to the city. All right, so everybody knows the route, right? Everybody knows where we're going. Which way? Going up to Red Hill. Going to the left. Thank you. 